Nagbabalik po Season 91 ng NCAA at enjoy na enjoy ang mga nanonood ngayon ng live dito sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. And why not? Napaka-crucial ng ating bakbakan, Heavy Bombers kontra Knights. We saw a lot of Final Four Team C action today, Coach Olsen. At uh, mas lalong nagiging matindi ang ating race para makarating ang mga kumpunan na ito sa susunod na yugto ng ating tournament. Oh, malaking bagay itong uh, araw na ito, sabi ng ating Crucial Friday, sa Final Four implications. Lalo na itong uh, game na ito. Dahil uh, yun nga, ang JRU nagahabol dun sa Final Four spot. Samantala ang letra naman, nagnanais na manatili dun sa 1-2 spot to get that twice to beat. Uh, advantage. JRU 8 and 6 ngayon sa team standings. The teams above JRU, Arellano at Papua, na kapwa mayroong 10 and 5 win-loss records. Ayan naman, do or die situation ito para sa Jose Rizal University. Coach Verhel wants to finish the season with 6 straight victories. Ant-Man, tinawagan ng traveling. Copico 78 Best Recharged Moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's Best Latte Ever. Sanchez will get this ball across. Mark Rose. Dine depends na maigi itong si Dave Sanchez, ang kapitan ng JRU. Kaya lang, Rose umapak sa sideline. Kanina nakita natin si Tay Chudoro nagbababa ng bola. No? Sanchez is no Tay Chudoro. Pero ang bumabantay naman sa kanya si Mark Cruz na grabe naman mag-hustle at dumipensa. Sabi ni JB, bounce back nights. Kaya niyo yan. Hashtag galing CSJL. Hirit naman ni Diane. Magsasurvey talaga ako ngayon eh. Kaso umuulan. Noon na lang ng NCAA. Hashtag galing JRU. Congrats nga pala sa letra ng JRU na sa top 4 ng ating ilabas ang galing campaign with of course letra number 1 number 4 naman ang JRU at sa puntong ito balikan natin si Myrtle Sarosa Myrtle? Yes, Anton kanina nga ay nakuusap ko si Abdel Butucci mula sa ating JRU Heavy Bombers at sinabi nito ko sa akin na today is a big game for him dahil gusto ko talaga makabawi sa last ng laban sa ating letra Knights ang ating 6'7 third year management student ng ating chair ng Sarazal University. Nang sabi talaga na masaya siya para sa binibigay sa kanya ng mga team niya. And today, he will really give us all para makapasok ang JRU sa Magic Court. Tinanong ko rin si Abdel kung ano yung sekreto niya para hindi sila kabahan for the next game. At sinabi niya sa akin kanina sa shower room nga daw, ay nag-rap siya sa kantang black and yellow para magkaroon siya ng energy at para hindi siya kabahan for today's game. Ayan, tinan ko, galing ko sa'yo. Maraming salamat, Bertol. Baka ikaw ang maging mentor ni Abdel Patucci pagdating sa singing. Of course, mga players talaga ito, may kanya-kanyang style eh, may kanya-kanyang pamahiin yan before a game kung anong pwede nilang gawin para swertihin sila eh. You know what's also interesting? Myrtle asked Abdel Patucci if if you had a moniker, what would that moniker be? At natuwa ako sa sagot nitong si Abdel Patucci. He told Myrtle, I want to be known as the iceberg. Kasi yung iceberg daw, hindi mo nakikita, pero napaka-dangerous. May pagkalalim pa na si Abdel Patucci. He's a management student. He's been with JRU for three years. Two years siyang nag-residency, Coach Olsen. At nararamdaman nila yung uh, nabibigay ni Patucci dito sa team ng uh, JRU. Like we said, because of his presence and the presence of Abdul Wahab, eh, malaking bagay yung napapatrol nila yung ilalim para sa JRU, who we all know is a very good pressing team. So ngayon, nakokomplement yung kanilang quickness with those two big guys. Alam mo, Coach Olsen, na napako sa 17 itong uh, Letran, their last field goal happened at the 3 minute and 3 mark of the first quarter. Maganda talaga yung pinapakita ang uh, depensa nitong uh, JRU. Their full court uh, press, full court zone press, and falling back into a uh, zone defense. The JRU, iba yung energy nila ngayon, Coach Olsen. They're fighting for their final four lives. Contejos. Difficult shot. 
Cruz, binasa kay Rakal. Rakal goes to his left. Dinabas ang bola. Luib to the Ant-Man for three. The Ant-Man! Knocks down three-pointer number 51 this season. Finally, a field goal para dito sa Letran. At uh, binaba itong kalamangan ng uh, JRU to nine points. Nobody has made more threes in the NCAA than Mark the Ant-Man Cruz. Master Guapo move of the quarter. Pontejos, napakahirap. Stumem back. Watch out for more Guapo moves powered by Master Secreto ng mga Guapo. At yetraman ang sagot ni the Ant-Man, Mark Cruz, as I mentioned, 51st triple of the season. And he's the reigning three-point king of the NCAA. Exactly. He makes 3.6 three-pointers per contest ngayong season. 29 to 20, lamang pa rin ang JRU. Grospe had to fire, bitin ang kanyang tira. It's Letran Basketball. Cruz with a crossover. Cruz with a left hand. Wow. The Ant-Man <laughs> over Abdul Razak, Abdul Wahab. Making it look so easy. A floater with a left hand that was with his off hand. The grab yung tinira ni Mark Cruz dun. Timeout, JRU Heavy Bombers. Balikan natin itong napakalupit na galaw ni Mark Cruz. Crossover against Pontejos. Left-handed layup over Abdul Wahab. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Abdel Patucci, muling nagbabalik sa ating laro. He has managed to stay away from foul trouble. At least sa punto ito ng ating laban. Bit of her hand. Then it depends on the balanza. Balanza, the Rwanda foul. Now, this is an interesting move by Coach Brihel Meneses. Deliver hand, third street point guard, the JRU, Pinaso. Ni Coach Brihel Meneses at kasama pa dyan si Paolo Pontejo so it's a two-point guard setup now. And nakikita niya without uh, Tate Tudor inside. He needs all the help he can get dun sa backcourt dahil pinagsabay, kaya, kaya pinagsabay niya dun dalawang uh, guardya niya. Isa na naman Copico 78 best recharged moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. John Soliano. Back to the ball game para sa Letran. Was very aggressive to start this contest. Pero itong si Patucci, pakalawang foul na yan, Coach Olsen. No, nabanggit mo nga, eh, staying away from foul trouble. Pero tingnan natin. Okay pa siya. Two, two fouls. Oops, sorry. <laughs> third foul. As I was saying, ano? Okay lang yung two fouls. Pero yung third foul niya, and fouling a jump shooter, yun ang hindi po pwede. So he gets his third foul with 6 minutes and 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Alam mo, nakausap ko rin itong si Abdel Patucci. Tinanong ko, what was the reason kung bakit na foul trouble siya in the first game? And he told me, masyado siyang nag-help. So naulit na naman yung problema. Nag-help siya, tapos sumabit. Oh, but he was what so around the three-point area yes. trying to help uh, his uh, team teammates. Siguro yung pagganong kalayo na hindi niya kailangan mag-challenge ng ganong kagrabe because uh, that's what a uh, 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 
from the three-point area. Layo nun doon sa dapat na pinaprotektahan niya, which is the inside. Kaya naman, Jeric Balanza with a rare four-point play. Nine to nothing run para sa Letran. Pontejos all day to shoot for three. Paolo oh, Pontejos, nothing for net. Kahit nag-challenge pa din si assistant coach Louie Gonzalez, eh, na-shoot pa rin ni Paolo Pontejos yung three-point basket na yun. Para pahintuin ang 9 to nothing run ng Colegio de San Juan de Letran. Maybe this is the reason kung bakit dalawang point guard ang pinasok ni Coach Perhel as we see a nice shot by Paolo Pontejos. Great setup job by Tere Perhel. Pontejos binagsak ang bola kay Grosme. Yes, very good look by Pontejos. Akala mo ititira na niya pero nice pass to his teammate underneath. Rakal, difficult pass. Babalik ang bola sa panic ng JRU. It's really the defense of JRU giving the Knights a lot of problems. Oh, coach, ano sabi nitong si Koy? Hello, coach. The big alls and Mr. Pure Business. Much love from Bacolod. From Bacolod pa. Pinakamusta ko yung mga taga Bacolod, especially sa Silay. My in-laws are from Silay City, Negros Occidental. Copico 78, best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's best latte ever. JRU fans rejoicing sa pagkat ng kanilang kumunan. On top ngayon, 34 to 26. Pero mahaba pa. Basketball ang ating mapapanood. Grospe from the free throw line. And ito mga second stringer si Coach Verhel uh, Meneses ang talaga nagpo-provide ng spark for JRU. Now if you're Letran, this is a perfect time to make a run. You have your big three inside, then you don't have uh, either Abdul Wahab or Putichi inside for JRU. Pati si Tejudoro wala rin. Christian Astilla. Ang pinakamalaking player ng JRU ngayon. And speaking of Christian Astilla, bonus points ito para sa Heavy Bombers. But I like, like what I said, kahit wala si Tay uh, Teodoro, wala si Potucci, at wala si Abdul Wahab. Ito second stringers ni Coach Ferhel Meneses ang nagbibigay ng puntos para sa kanilang kuponan. Soliano, umatake. Chomp Soliano. Pupunta sa free throw line. Let's check out this strong move of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home run band. These are surprise bombers. MJ De La Virgen and Christian Astilla. You know, Letran a while ago, I mentioned went on a, went on a 9 to nothing run. Sumagot naman at JRU with their own version of a 9 to nothing run. Four minutes and 38. Yung buong oras na nalalabi dito sa ating first half. Dinoverhand, dinoble team. Grospe, naito with ang bola. Jordan de la Paz, binalik kay Grospe. Montejos, umikot. Dinabas kay Jordan de la Paz. And de la Paz knocks it down. He credit that basket to Montejos who gave that very good assist pass to sa kanyang teammate ng de la Paz. Soliano, natapik ang bola, napulot ni Montejos. Montejos, rumarachada, Montejos. Nabitawan pero natapik ng isang Letran Knight. What a pass by Montejos. Veteran composure pinakita ni Jordan de la Paz. De la Virgen, cross-court pass, naagawan. Rose, pinasa kayo ng batak. Ng batak, umikot. Soliano, napulot ang bola. At nahirapan si Soliano sa depensa ni Astilla. Again, sabihin natin, ginagawa ng JR itong run nila without Tay Tudor inside. And with uh, Potucci in fall trouble, si Abdul Wahab nagpapahinga. Tudor has only played 8 minutes so far dito sa laban na to. As Mark Cruz... 
knocks down that back shot. I think good for help might be trying to conserve Tate Chodoro. And so far, hindi naman niya kasi kailangan gamitin Tate Chodoro dahil nang maganda yung pinapakita nitong second singers ng Nigeria. Specifically, ito si Pontejos. Kevin Rafael, tinawag ng foul. With 3 minutes and 15 seconds remaining dito sa ating second quarter. Jordan De La Paz, a former light bomber, was also part of the mythical five nung siya'y naglalaro pa sa NCAA Juniors Division. As we see, Tete Chodoro. Four points so far in the game para kay Tete. And di alam mo naman si Tate Chudoro eh. Kahit uh, umupo yan ng uh, 30 minutes and 35 minutes, pag pinasok mo yan ng last 5 minutes, very crucial moment, eh gagawa at gagawa yan para sa JRU. Chudoro played 31 minutes sa kanilang huling laro kontra sa CSB. Nang Bata, attacking the defense of De La Verhead. Good move by Ray Nang Bata. Unang puntos ni Nang Bata dito sa laban na to. Well, so far, JRU has found the way to limit the points of Nambata, which is part of the game plan of Coach Brahel Meneses. Yes, I think part of his game plan is to stop Nambata and uh, Mark Cruz. And so far, they've been doing a good job with that. This was only the first basket of Ray Nambata here sa ating laro. Strong move of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Magbabalik po on Season 91 of NCAA Ilabas. Ang galing. Anton Rojas. Actually, ang nagbigay sa akin ng pangalan na yun, Mr. Triceps, was one of our uh, fans of the NCA na nag-tweet kung si ano daw, Bradwin Ginto, Mr. Biceps. Ako daw, Mr. Mr. Triceps. Eh, tama nga naman. May karapatan naman eh. Grabe ang Triceps itong partner ko. But, but I prefer Mr. Pure <laughs> Business, of course, because that's what that's what my teammates called me in high school when I was playing for La Salle Zobel. Pero uh, maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga tweets. Sa lahat ng mga nagtitweet, of course, and uh, keep it coming as Cruz keeps these baskets coming for the Knights. Labit dalawang puntos para kay the Atman to lead all scores dito sa ating laro. And during that timeout ito, pinasok ni Coach Ferhel, Menezes, si Tate Teodoro. Rakal, pinasa kay Cruz, bitin. Tapi ka ng bola, napunta kay Luib. Kevin Rakal on the inside. Ang ganda nung pasa ni uh, Luib. Doon kay Kayrak sa ilalim. Good bounce pass by that guard of Letran. Paolo Pontejos with a floater. Seven points for Paolo Pontejos. At nagsabay na itong si Chodoro at Paolo Pontejos. Dalawa sa top performers ng JRU ngayong second round. Luib, humihingi ng screen. The switch comes. Luib, umatake. Sobra ang kanyang layup. Rebound, JRU. Chodoro to Pontejos. Touchdown! Ito si Pontejos talaga so far. Napakaganda ng pinapakita niya dito sa second quarter. And I'm very impressed with the way... Yung mga, mga paglusot niya sa kanyang bantay. He uses those spin moves, those up and under moves, mga sidestep kung paano siya makawala sa kanyang bantay. One of the craftiest players indeed dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA, Luib. Bounce pass para kay K-Rax. K-Rax with a fadeaway. So far, it has been the veterans ang nagpapakita dito sa second quarter. We have Paolo Pontejos on one side. At sa JRU naman, you have uh, K-Rax na nagsuscore para sa JRU. Pontejos. Uh, sorry, for for uh, Letran. Astilla. Rebound Letran. Here comes Mark Cruz. Cruz, huminto, tumira. 
in and out, rebound. Ray Nambata, pupunta sa free throw line. If you're a coach, you got to love that effort of uh, Ray Nambata getting to the board. Galing sa labas yung ginawa na. Again, ito yung sinasabi natin, move ni Paolo Ponteos coming off that spin move and hitting that floater. And this time, it's a fast break naman si Paolo Ponteos. Meron ng shot na puntos dito sa ating laro si Paolo Pontejos, a guy who averaged 23.3 points per game in the first four games ng JRU sa second round. Ray ng Batak samantala, medyo malamig. Nawala yung sting ni Sting Ray ng Batak. Second free throw. That's good oh, for Ray ng Batak. Quiet Nambata. first half for Ray ng Batak, only three points. As we mentioned, this is the first four games ng uh, second round ng NCAA. Mention it's a struggle si uh, Ray ng Batak. But in their last game, he scored uh, 15 points. So slowly, uh, bumapalik na itong laro ni Ray ng Batak. 48 to 40. Luib contra Teodoro. Teodoro with a crossover. Eight seconds to go sa ating shot clock. Teodoro, linabas ang bola. Pontejos, bitin! Luib, nakuha ang bola. Pinasa kay na Antman. Hedaria with a drive. Hedaria, sumobra. Magic, magic bunot sana si Hedaria para kay Coach Alden Ayo. That was a surprise substitution. We've seen so many surprises today in this matchup. Both coaches trying to pull out all the stops. Ang tindi ng ating nakita bakbakan. Labing dalawang puntos mula kay The Ant-Man, Mark Cruz, Pontejos. Siyam na puntos ng umuna para sa kuburan ng Heavy Bombers. 48-40, to halftime sa aming pagbabalik.